Hey everyone, Taylor here, and let me stop you before you start typing that comment and you're saying, Taylor, why are we talking about Persona 6? Persona 5 is not even out in the States yet or anywhere else in the world besides Japan. Well, I'll get to that. Just, just don't worry. Just hang on and then you can type your comment. So there's been a lot of news with Atlas lately. In case you didn't know, they're opening a new studio called Studio Zero and everything that is revolved or revolving around that uh, kind of pertains to Persona, so we're going to get to that in a little bit. But um, So let's talk about that real quick since I haven't mentioned it on the channel. But basically they're opening a, stu a studio called Studio Zero, and I guess why they're calling it Zero is they're starting from their roots. They're starting from Zero. Um, they're kind of wanting to get back to what you know Japanese RPGs are known for, so I don't know if that means creating a traditional RPG like turn-based or if they're going to do action. I don't know what that means, but... Uh, so far, the project is called Project RE Fantasy, so they're trying to do like a traditional fantasy RPG, but they keep saying stuff like, well, Persona was created to be counter to everything that was going on, and so we want to take those same ideas uh, and put them in a fantasy game, so maybe make some type of fantasy RPG that is counter to what everybody expects and what has been, you know, coming out in the last, you know, decade or so. So I don't know if that means a counter to Dragon Quest, which there haven't been too many in the last 10 years, or if that's counter to like Dark Souls type games, or I don't know what that means. So, but that's kind of what they're going for. And so Atlas USA also put out a, a statement last week and they were talking about, you know, what they're trying to get into this and, you know, everything that they've been doing. And they're saying that the, um, the director that has kind of brought Persona to where it is today, uh, Katsuro Hashino, uh, he directed uh, SMT3 Nocturne, Persona 3, Persona 4, Persona 5, um, and I want to say he even did Catherine. Um, I don't know if he was the director, but I don't know if he was heavily involved since that was their only PS3 game, really. Um, so apparently he's just diving head in and he is going to help establish uh, this studio. Um, and just be all in and make sure that they get established and uh, and he's also gonna be directing this new game so now where does that leave Persona 6 so in this statement from uh, Atlas USA they said uh, along on the journey will be uh, Shinigori Sojima from the Atlas art team responsible for creating the art with uh, uh, and Shoji Meguru from Atlas sound team and then it says, while Hashino is focusing entirely on building Studio Zero from the ground up, Sojima and Meguru will maintain their responsibilities to the Persona series. Likewise, B-Studio, the production team in charge of Persona, will continue to operate at full strength to develop new, uh, new entries to fulfill demand for the series. As a startup, Studio Zero will be, diving, will be, driving, will be a driving source of innovation for all Atlas development. Uh, keep an eye out on the official website, rpg.jp, for additional updates. So basically, they straight up said um, Hashino is not going to be on the next Persona, they made it sound like. Cause it says, so Jima and Meguru will maintain their responsibilities to the Persona series. They did not say Hashino is. So they basically are like, Hashino is starting this new studio over here. And the rest of the team is going to be keep doing Persona, but not the director. And that kind of worries me in a way, because for anybody that has not played Persona 1 and 2, they are wildly different games than Persona 3, 4, and 5. Um, there's no social links. They're really dark, which I think longtime fans like that stuff. But I, I hate to tell you, Persona is popular because it's kind of happy and fun, and there's the social links. That's kind of what has made it... The popular game series that it is today so i wonder if maybe they just feel like okay we know what this new persona identity is we've done three games in that series so we can pretty easily hand the reins over to a producer or a lead designer or a lead programmer and we feel like this guy or this girl could take over the series and hopefully take it in a good direction and i find the timing of them starting this new studio well not the timing necessarily but the idea that Hashino would go and head this new studio odd considering they're just coming off Persona 5 their best selling internal game ever and so you would think that they'd want to capitalize on that momentum and pop another one out before PlayStation 4's era is over but they're like no we're gonna start this new studio I wonder if they just got such a huge influx of cash because that game did so well 
and they're like, okay, well, we've got this extra money. Let's go start this new studio. And I don't know. I'm just really curious because obviously their moneymaker's persona is huge in Japan and it's becoming huge everywhere else. It just seems odd. So hopefully they don't completely, you know, leave persona by the wayside and they don't let it become something it's not or like whoever the new director is like, all right, I'm going to do all kinds of crazy new stuff. We're going to take persona in a new direction. It's like, no, no, no. From what I've seen at Persona 5, played a demo, haven't played the full game. They're totally in the right trajectory to make this series continue to be better and better and better. Like, they made the, they made the game look like Catherine. It's super stylish. They've got the social link stuff. There's new side activities, bigger world. Just like, just keep going in that direction. Don't go crazy. Don't do anything weird. Um, so, you know, I'm really getting ahead of myself here. I realize that Persona 6 is probably three years out at least. And whatever this fantasy RPG that they're building at Studio Zero, that game's at least five, six years out. Because they even said in the in their statement that they don't even know what platform it's going to be for. So this might be a PS5 game for all we know, um, or a very, very, very late PS4 game, considering you know they're starting in the middle of a generation. So what do you guys think? Are you excited about this new fantasy RPG? Are you concerned that Hashino is not going to be directing Persona 5, or is he going to be some Tetsuya Nomura magician and direct both games at the same time. I'm just really curious to hear what you guys think in the comments. We've been having some great conversation lately. So uh, yeah, definitely let me know uh, what you think down below. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a like. Always makes me feel good and it always helps the channel. And if you have not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe for awesome new Japanese gaming and anime discussions every weekday. Thanks guys and we'll see you later.